It's Lissy here, and you're watching You Exorcism, a series where I look at games from a UX perspective. Today I'm reviewing Eternal Returnal? Eternal Return! Although I desperately want to say Eternal Returnal. Eternal Return is a free to play game that combines two popular genres the MOBA, or multiplayer online battle arena, and the Battle Royale. So it's like League of Legends meets PUBG, but with some of that animal flavor. In Eternal Return, you pick a character and then you run around a selected route and avoid people until your build is complete. To complete your build, you can pick up the shoe, which doesn't have any stats, or a glass water bottle with no stats, this pile of rocks, also no stats. Um, but <laughs> some of these can be pretty delightful though, like this pair of Heelys. There are items with stats, but generally you have to build them from items that you find on the map, and some items feel like they exist just to take up space in a super tight inventory. The game allows you to select that predetermined path, that, that area that you walk. Um, I don't know how they're making these builds or where these builds come from, but once you select one, that sets your player character on a specific path. As you follow that path and look for items, you pick up what you need in order to build your full set. Uh, there are other players in the lobby who will be looking for their items to make their builds too, so there is a shared pool of resources between you and 17 others. That creates a little bit of scarcity, which is fun. In fights, you can use abilities, a la MOBA, but there's like six of them, including your passive, which can level up. So that can get complicated pretty quickly. So it's kind of like a boba, a battle royoba, a mo battle royale. Okay, bad joke is bad, but honestly, there's usually not that much battle until the end of the game uh, when players get their full sets because people tend to prioritize early game builds over kills. Originally, I had planned to do a little you exorcism for this game and its clever concept. Just kind of come on in here, find one real bad demon and take it out. What I really found, however, was a master demon, a primeval chaos level monster, a real behemoth. And it comes down to a user experience core element, the big mama jamma mental models. You see, there are a lot of potential UX issues in Eternal Return. But the biggest one that I can see is that the game assumes that players can innately apply the mental model from a battle royale and a MOBA into a completely new mental model. And a player's mental model is their belief about how this thing in front of them should work based on experiences that they've had before. Let's take a look at these models. This is how a battle royale works. You stay safe so you can stay in the game long enough to collect weapons or items so that you gain power to kill enemies, meaning you stay safe longer, and so on. In the MOBA, you gain gold so you can buy items, which give you more power so you can kill your enemies, level up, strengthen your abilities, gain more gold, and so on. And then we've got Eternal Return, which is essentially the item system of a MOBA slotted into a battle royale. You stay safe so you can collect components, which you build to gain power, which helps you kill enemies so you can increase your weapon level and stay safe. There was a bit too much here, and I, I wonder if the team tried to mitigate that using build paths, that um, predetermined route that you take to build your items I was talking about earlier. So instead of collecting components and building items, players select that build plan. And so players, especially new players, pick up items without really understanding what's coming together. And this is how Eternal Return tries to tie all three systems together. It assumes, however, that all types of players can apply both the MOBA and Battle Royale mental models because it looks like a MOBA and it feels like a Battle Royale. But the game itself doesn't do the legwork of designing and applying a new mental model naturally through the gameplay. And I'll just say that simple is complicated, and this level of complexity is hard to simplify already due in part to the composite nature of Eternal Returnal. I mean, Eternal Return. MOBAs themselves have a super high barrier of entry because there's just so much information to memorize and understand, and Battle Royales have a lower barrier of entry. As a result, this implementation of the Mo Battle Royale struggles a lot. That in itself could be an entire video. I will say this game has a cool concept and a lot of potential, 
but it's harder to choose this game over a simpler game like Rumbleverse, which also combines the battle royale and mobile concepts, but it's a little more selective in its design. That said, Eternal Return is in early access right now in North America. It has some beautiful artwork and 3D models, and the Steam community has been very vocal in its feedback. I'm really hoping to see this game grow and get better as long as the dev team spends some time incorporating that user feedback. It is free to play, so give it a try and let me know what you think. My tip to you is that playing as a duo is way more fun than playing by yourself. Good luck out there, and see ya!